Hey Psychic America, this is Hey, Psychic America, this is Tracy Brown coming to you today, April 18th, yeah, 18th, 19th, yes, because the 20th is Easter. Happy Easter, everyone. So, I'm by myself today for the third eye view, but because Sean is not here, I am going to post a video, but it will not be for the third eye view because the third eye view is titled for a group, group, meaning uh, more than one. So, this is Pop Culture Psychic. <laughs> Just psychic. Uh, this is Tracy Brown coming to you. I do my videos out of the Green Man store, as you all know by now. Two years of doing these videos. Um, yeah, two years. Longer than two years. They started them in November two years ago. And, well, today I'm going to do, <laughs> drum roll, Columbus Short of Scandal. Columbus, just when the girls were into you, Columbus, and they were feeling your energy, and I've been getting, isn't Columbus cute? Oh my God, Tracy, what do you think of Columbus? Blah, 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 blah. Columbus, you screwed up. You screwed up. How many people get a job like Scandal and ruin it? Oh, I know how many people. You ruined it just like the other guy did on Grey's Anatomy when he ruined his job. Hello. <laughs> so upset. Oh, Columbus, I'm I'm kind of mad at you because I think that there's a problem brewing. I, I don't think Shonda Rhimes is happy with you. I just don't think so. I don't think Shonda Rhimes and you know, you know, all of my peeps, my peeps, my Twitter peeps <laughs> and my Facebook peeps, um they've been keeping me updated with the violence that you've been having in your marriage and in front of your kids and the antagonistic behavior that you and your wife have been giving to one another mm -hmm. who's gonna win who's gonna win you know you're so busy fighting in your house that you're kind of forgetting that you have a great job now it's my understanding you've already been warned by Shonda and you couldn't pull, you couldn't rein it in because just recently I read one of my psychic detectives that you got arrested again, domestic violence, and your wife called the cops. And oh my God, who has a great job like this and ruin it to domestic violence? A lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people do this, but to me, only stupid people. Your income matters. Your income matters. I'm just an income kind of girl, like. Income comes first. <laughs> oh, God. Idiot, you don't lose your job over income. So the question's going to be, I'm really upset because I'm slamming my cards now. It's not your fault, cards. not your fault. Oh. Is Columbus coming back? They shot him. <laughs> they shot him, which means Shonda Rhimes is leaving the door open. But did you kind of seal your faith with the last domestic violence with your wife. Are you? Are you done? Oh, Columbus, are you done? Oh, well. Let's see. I'm disappointed in your behavior, though. I really. I don't like domestic violence. I already have PTSD. I don't like violence. I just don't. Walk the fuck away. Walk away. Jesus Christ, walk away. All right, that's just too personal for me. I'm just going there. <laughs> just going there. Uh, you're going to rehab. <laughs> Everybody goes to rehab. You're going to rehab. There's, there's going to be something in the media where, you know, you're going to rehab. <laughs> Everybody goes to rehab. I'm beginning to hate rehab. Um, hmm. You haven't chosen well. Your antics, your decisions, your movements, none of them have been chosen well, Columbus. Hmm. But I still see money around you, so that's odd. A lot of money is still around you. Huh. Oh, I get a card of independence. 
Mr. Cardiff Independent. Huh. Huh. All right. I think I see what's going to happen here. The, the main thing I'm asking is, is Shonda Rhimes going to release him? That's the main question here. You go quiet for a little bit, and that still means rehab to me. To, to become smarter. This card, the hermit card usually means I get, I get quiet to get my answers. And you do get to your aha moment. And then in my oracle deck, I get wisdom, knowledge, and spiritual understanding, which is what the hermit is. Kind of getting it. Spiritually kind of getting it. But you're worried. This is job. Your job is on the line. Victory is in my number four position, so that's not the best position. The magician. You know, I'm going to tell you what I'm getting. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I don't think you get your job back. Let's just complete that task. I don't think that you get your job back with Shonda Rhimes. I think she does decide to pull you out of um, the show. How she decides to do it is a little curious to me because I think she has a soft heart for for you, Columbus. That's what I'm getting. Like, I know she's a no-holds-barred type of person, but I also think she has a soft heart for you. So, I don't think she quite kills you. I don't think you're dead. I think you've gone away. And there's two things that could happen here. Either they morph you into a different character that's really, really bad and ugly. Like, you become... And you now become the bad guy in a horrific kind of way so that ultimately it won't matter if they kill you off because she's made you into this bad guy and the public's not going to like you anyway. Or, and I have to say it this way, or you are gone and then they, and then you get a job that's in a more wizard, monk, magical kind of show. Wizard, monk, magical kind of show. So, I'm, I'm actually getting it twofold. Bottom line is, is Shonda Rhyme bringing you back? The answer is, initially, we won't see him coming back, guys. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. They, they play his role where they, they play him out. He's out. Technically, he's out. And he could be out for, like, the first... 10 episodes, first, something like that, first 10 episodes, he could be out. He could show up again and show up again as the bad guy, and then ultimately he gets killed off. That's what I'm getting. That's what I'm getting. Um, but it's twofold. I, I, that one feels better to me, that they kind of pull him out, not really, and then he gets used as the bad guy because remember we heard a shot in the end and so it could be one of those things where he doesn't necessarily get shot you know how it is in soap operas that's what I'm getting with Columbus short um, I think he suffers financially because he hasn't chosen wisely something like that um, but this experience makes him smarter he finally gets it ultimately Columbus I do see that you you come back again not necessarily on the show but whatever role you get to play, you now get to use that role to your advantage. And so I just think we're going to see you elsewhere. I think you have the capability of showing up in movies now or a different type of show where it's more magical, like Once Upon a Time type of thing. That's Channel 7 too. They stay in line. Scandal, Once Upon a Time. Um, and you get used to your advantage. Something about you that they honestly like. They don't like your antics off the show in your personal life, but they kind of like you as a person. So I feel like they're just trying to salvage you, not like they did with the other guy on Grey's Anatomy where they just had to drop him because that was that just turned into a weird scandal. Turns out even that guy was just a little bitch on the, on the, on the um, set because once he won against the other black guy, then he, he came across like arrogant and blah, blah, and so they had to fire him. By the way, I'm getting all this psychically. I get no inside information, by the way, people, so you can't sue me. <laughs> I'm not using inside information. It's all psychic. In any case, I'm going to end this with, I, I just don't think we're going to see Columbus Short in its full entirety. 
in his full entirety. They're going to play with his role and, and, and in a way where they then recreate him. He really, really is the bad guy. Because remember, Huck is gone. Huck is the one that could be gone. And so they need another bad guy. And then he turns really, really bad. And then they can't keep him. That's what I'm getting. So it remains to be seen what's going to happen with the new episodes. All right, guys. Thank you so much. Shonda Rhimes, thank you so much. We're just loving Scandal. Loving it. And, um, oh, and I, I, I'm going to send you some information about a woman that I think you can use the storyline to. Shonda, <laughs> talking to you. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I already did 10 minutes on this. I hope I'm right. Take it easy. Call me at the Green Man Store, 818-985-2010, 818-985-2010, and join me. Subscribe to me, but join me on Twitter, at Pop Culture Psychic, and Psychic spelled P-S-Y-C-K. Okay, take it easy. Bye.